Hello, welcome to the show. Today I will show you how to connect Digital Performer with the Vienna Ensemble Pro server interface. What Vienna Ensemble Pro allows you to do is it allows Digital Performer to connect over a fast network setup that you might have to connect to an external audio device, whether it's another PC or another Mac, and the external audio device will be streaming back its sounds to Digital Performer. This is a great way to set up a big template for orchestral and uh, film and trailer music, a huge massive setup of sounds of every articulation possible within the orchestral realm without putting too much pressure on Digital Performer. For the purpose of this tutorial today, I will be dealing only on the side of Digital Performer. I will not show you how to set up the external audio interface, the other uh, PC or the other Mac, but believe me, setting up the external device is the easiest part. The lengthiest part, unfortunately for DP users, is on the DP end because due to an audio unit limitation set uh, by Apple, which they, it has not been resolved yet, it's a bit tricky to set up the Ensemble Pro server to work on uh, DP. On the other hand, once you set it up, it works like a charm, it's bulletproof. Uh, as far as I'm concerned, it has never crashed on me and it works beautifully. Before I start, make sure that you have the latest versions of all software. Now, as you see here, on status, it says connected. What that means is that Digital Performer is connected to the external PC that is handling a huge, huge array of uh, uh, contact uh, uh, instruments and, and sounds. As you see here, I have violins, I have uh, all sorts of strings, I have percussion, I have brass, I have woodwinds, I have uh, so many sounds on this template that it would be impossible to handle them on on one Mac, so I divide the work between the Mac and the external PC. I'm not going to show you how I set up this big template because this will take many, many hours. This is a huge, huge template. Instead, what I'm going to do is I'm gonna disconnect from uh, uh, this instance altogether and I will begin a much simpler one from scratch. That way, it'll make m much more sense to you. So I will uh, open another template right here. It's opening up right now. And uh, the first thing we need to do is that uh, once we have all the software, the VN Ensemble Pro software installed, what we need to do is initiate the server. This, the server acts as uh, a gateway between Digital Performer or the Mac from one end to the hardware on the other end. So I will go to Project and then I will uh, create an instrument track. In this case, the instrument track will be the N Ensemble Pro. That will initiate the server. Now, my Mac and DP have, have the server to help them as a gateway between DP and whatever I have on the other end, which of course now it's not connected. This is the first step, and that's probably the easiest step from everything else that I will show you. Now, as with any other MIDI sequence, I need to create MIDI tracks. But this time the MIDI tracks need to be VN Ensemble server specific MIDI tracks. So again, I will go to Project and I will create an instrument with options. Okay, instrument with options. I will open the mini menu here and down to VSL, I will choose, this time I will choose a VN Ensemble Pro Event Input. To that I will add 16 MIDI tracks. I can add multiple instances of, of these, but for clarity's sake I will just do it once here. So I will just add 
16 MIDI channels, but you can add another 16 if you want, or another Vienna server with just as many uh, MIDI tracks as you wish. Here we go. And we have, as we see here, Vienna Ensemble Pro Event Input. And this will work on the MIDI channel one on the other end, on the PC or the Mac that I have on the other end. So all these now are MIDI tracks. These are all MIDI tracks. And uh, depending on what I have on the other end, what I have, what sounds I have on the other end, let's say uh, here I have my, my oboe. I will name this track oboe. And uh, when uh, I start MIDI, my MIDI sequence, whatever I play on this track, will I will hopefully I will hear an oboe sound coming from my PC or my, the Mac that is hosting the all, all my sounds. However, I will not hear too much unless I do uh, two more steps. The third step that I need. Uh, to do is create a way so that the sound that comes out of the PC enters Digital Performer. So in order to do that, I will create for now one AUX track, an auxiliary track, and For the input of that AUX track, I will set Vienna Ensemble Pro out 3-4. This here will pick up all the sounds coming out from the other end and bring them back to Digital Performer. Now, if I have another Vienna Ensemble, if I have Vienna Ensemble Pro event input 2, that means I have to add another auxiliary track and then another auxiliary track and set up the corresponding instances here as well so that all the sounds that I have on the other end end up in Digital Performer. Once I do that, the sounds will be coming into Digital Performer but they will not necessarily be recorded. So what I need to do is add a stereo track. Before I do that, I need to go back to my auxiliary track, go to my mixing board, and uh, assign the auxiliary track to a bus. So th this auxiliary track, whatever comes from the other end, is routed to bus 78 via this aux track and I will need to set up here bus 78 as the input to the audio track. So once I'm done with my sequence all I need to do is record enable my tracks, play back the sequence and all my audio from the PC or Mac that I have on the other end will be streamed in real time with hardly any latency back to Digital Performer and be recorded as audio. As I said before, this is just one instance of uh, 16 MIDI tracks but this can grow into huge proportions once you start adding more PCs or more Macs on the other end and having more music come back to Digital Performer. So all the, the, this step that I did, these four steps that I, I made for you will, will have to be repeated many, many times until you, you get all the sounds that you need coming back to Digital Performer. I have some uh, composer friends in Los Angeles who have as many as uh, four, five, six, sometimes eight PCs 
uh, streaming audio back to digital performer. So you can imagine how large a template can get. The good news is, is that even though it takes time to set up such uh, a big template, you will only have to do it once. So this is it for now. I hope uh, you have made uh, sense out of this. You can leave comments at, uh, uh, for this YouTube videos or anything else. You can also visit my website. Uh, as you see here on the screen, I have many uh, pro projects that I've done using Vienna Ensemble Pro and Digital Performer. And uh, I can't wait to post the next uh, tutorial soon. So have a great day, great night, and I'll be seeing you soon. Bye-bye.